Hi guys, in this video we'll be learning how to open and read files. So here we have an example file called demofile.txt and this will be used as an example for the rest of the lesson here. So first when you want to open the file you'll be using a function called open. Open has two parameters and the first one is the file name. In this case, the file name is demofile.txt. The other parameter is the mode. And mode is basically what you want to do with that file. Whether you want to read the file, to overwrite the file, or edit the file. Since you want to read the file, you'll be putting R. And that represents reading. Then, once you have done that, I'm going to be storing in a variable, and I'll be calling my variable f. And then, to actually read it, you'll be using a function called read. So it'll be f.read. Then, let's print it out to make sure the content of the file is the same. So let's run this, and you'll see that it prints out exactly the content of the file here. And that's how you use open and read. If the file is located in a different location, then you will have to specify the file path. So for example, if you if it's not included within the Python folder and other folder, you'll have to specify it. So by default, f.read will return or turn the whole file, but if you want, just want to return like the first few number of characters, you can do that by inputting an uh, integer value here. So let's say we want to return the first five characters, then inside the read method or the read function, you'll be putting five. And once I run this and print this out, it'll print out hello. And you'll see that hello is the first five characters of the file. Another way you can read a file is by using a method called readLine. So using the same file, instead of using the method called read, we'll be using a method called readLine. And readLine will allow you to just read one line at a time. So when we print this, you'll see that it prints out the first line. And then you can get the second line by printing f.readline again. Okay. Another way you can get the line to the file is by using a for loop. So using the same file once again, we're going to use a for loop for x inside the variable f, which is open file. You'll just be printing out x. And once you do that, it'll print out every single line, every time the for loop is run. So when we run this thing, you'll see that every line is printed out. Then, once you're done with everything, it's a good practice to close the file, and to do that, you'll be using a method called close. F dot close. Then, once you run it again, you'll see that there's no changes in the console, but in the Python program, the file is now closed. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.